highlight of the flat racing season is the Derby. But of course, it's a race restricted to the cream of Europe's racing bloodstock. It isn't the good fortune of every horse to be born with a silver spoon in its mouth, so we're glad to report that from time to time, their poor relations, the working horses, get a share of the limelight. At Hand Cross in Sussex, for example, we're just in time for their event of the year, the Cart Horse Derby. And they're off. The racehorse's sleek lines and fluid movement may be missing, but for sheer power, cart horses, ridden bareback here you'll notice, take some beating. It's neck and neck most of the way, but there's no need for a photo finish. A clear winner is Golden Boy, ridden by Sally Dunge. No fabulous prize money in this derby, but for horse and rider, a gratifying occasion. The cart horse derby is actually part of an annual gymkhana, and among the other attractions is the open potato race, an old English institution, no doubt which is probably why some of the competitors are referred to as chips off the old block. The race itself is easy enough to follow, although, as you can see, not so easy to play. Still, the standard isn't bad, and if it goes on improving, perhaps it will be introduced at the next Olympics. Here's one sport we could even win. The same applies to this event, the apple bobbing race, although this is restricted to riders of 16 and under. The horses, of course, are pretty well the same in every race. They're game for anything. Anyway, now let's concentrate on the intricacies of the race. is 13-year-old Jennifer Woodcock riding Akron, and for her stout-hearted performance, she's presented with an apple. Gymkhanas today seem to be gaining popularity, and if this was anything to go by, no wonder. Mm -hmm. 